Hello students and welcome to another lesson presented by The Learning Depot. I'm Lulu Shaw and in today's lesson we will learn about basic verb tenses. In order to communicate the sense of time, we use words that let us know or indicate the time at which something happened. Verbs fulfill that function and help us indicate time in a clear and concise manner. Verb tenses help us represent time or actions that occurred in the past, in the present, or will be happening in the future. In today's lesson, we are going to learn about these simple verb tenses. We will learn about the simple past, the simple present, and the simple future. Let's begin. There are three basic tenses of verbs, and this is the past, the present, and the future. They are called the simple tense. In the simple past, the action took place in the past. The action has ended, it happened, and is over. When we talk about the simple past, we talk about a finished action in the past. In the simple present, the action is happening now. And in the simple future, the action will happen at a later time in the future. For most verbs, when you form the simple past, you simply add the suffix ed. And to make the simple future, you add the modal auxiliary will. We are going to look at three examples of verbs that follow the regular conjugations in the simple past, the simple present, and the simple future. Let's look at this verb, grill. We grilled the hamburgers in the past. Simply add ed. We grill our hamburgers. That's in the present. We will grill our hamburgers in the future. Notice the modal verb will is added to form the future. I watched a movie. That's the past. I watch a movie in the present. I will watch a movie. That is in the future. Let's look at one more example and the verb is dance. They danced in the moonlight and here again we add ed to make the past. They dance in the moonlight. They will dance in the moonlight and here we added the modal will. In today's lesson you learned about the simple tenses of verbs. You learned about the simple past. The simple past is used to represent an action that took place in the past and was completed. It was finished. The simple present represents an action that is occurring now in the present, and the simple future represents an action that will take place in the future but has not yet occurred. Make sure to go back and review the parts of the video that you did not understand, and if you have a question, leave it in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer it. And if you like this lesson, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video. And please like and share so that others may learn about my channel. I thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.